Hi everyone, so very warm welcome to the next session. Today we are going to discuss about how to debug your Groovy script or what are the alternatives to figure out in case if there are kind of any errors in your script and what are the different different kind of reusable script or function which we can use and where are they available as such. That's an important part. So let's start. So again, I think what happens is whenever we go into a cloud integration suit and whenever we open the Groovy script, we see we don't have any kind of option to uh, to see what are the different different kind of errors now let's say if you go to any any normal editor you will see that okay you have some kind of a console where you will be able to see what are the different, different kind of errors you see in the script but it's not there in your SAP cloud integration suit so in case you have not seen let me just quickly go into the system and show you up let me just go into the system let's just go into one of our integration flow here let me quickly go here let me just quickly edit out let me just step into this uh, iFlow. So here you will see that a lot of different different kind of uh, CPA palette options has been used to construct this iFlow. Now let's say I can just take any Groovy script, let me just take this one. So if I step into this particular Groovy script, you will see that okay, we have written some kind of syntaxes. In case if you have missed my session on how to start with a Groovy script, I would highly recommend please go through that particular part. So here you will see that we don't have any option to might be validate my syntax knowledge in case if there is semicolon missing, it will be nothing. Okay, so it will not give you any kind of error. So you have like a free canvas, write whatever you have to write and save it and deploy it and then you will be able to get errors. Now again, sometimes it becomes a little frustrating because yeah, maybe you are connecting with a third party and asking them to trigger a message will be difficult because there are only two ways you will be able to actually validate your script either going and some going and say to the third system okay trigger a data then uh, just execute this uh, your iflow and then you will see okay what is the error that's the first part second i think the more easiest is that you can might be use the simulation mode again if you have was the simulation mode i would highly recommend that go through my session where i've talked about how to, how to start your simulation mode start and end part if you use that particular part again you will be able to figure out the error part but again, I think everyone asked me this question, Sam, is there is another way to, to debug it or to work with it? So guys, the answer is yes, there is a one more way. So now here, again, let me just quickly take you to one more site, which is your groovyit.com forward slash cp. Again, this is someone has given to this open source community. How does exactly it work out? So again, from look and feel, I hope you will be able to relate it out. You have an input, you have a script, and then you have an output. Now, how does it work out? So now, let's say if this is your input which you want to pass it to the script to validate if that if on the output is the right uh, response what you are looking for or that's the right output. So what you need to do here is you have to give the inputs. In case if you need to add any kind of head headers or properties, you can just quickly click on add header or might be here you can just do quickly add properties. So again, I think it's very very easy to add your headers and your properties. Here you have a script. Again, you can just write based on your requirement, whatever the script you write. And what you have to do is you have to just click on, click to execute script. So once you do that particular part, so below the console here, so you will be able to actually see if there are any kind of errors as such. Okay, so here you will be able to see, okay, what line number the error is. So again, you don't have to, might be used, to, might be some kind of a, technical way where you will be able to see okay what where exactly is there and what kind of error important is what kind of error it is because sometime if you have already worked with a uh, groovy script in in this tool it's not that easy or relatable message so that's an important point so now i hope if you have already uh, uh, like work with the groovy scripts so i would try or i would request that my just try out some kind of a basic script pass some uh, input message with headers and properties execute it and see output try to just play around with the script how does the console works out for you as such so this is one place with which i'll highly recommend you now the second part okay the second part is self-help script which i mean there are like few scripts which are available on the internet which you can actually use it okay might be in case of your scenario perfectly fits into it so now you will see here we have something called a groovy example so if you click on this groovy examples what happens is you have a list of ex examples here as such 
might be your basic script for beginners, EDS segment counter, Excel uh, to XML conversion, getting your HTML error body soap, and there are so many different different kind of scripts which is available to you out of the box, guys. Okay, so I would just try to open it out two or three scripts for you. So might be just to validate it out. Okay, and and there is one more which is script for beginners. Okay. So now if I if I just try to see it here, I think you will get some kind of a very good overview here. So it says very clearly the main entry point of function is process data, which I think we have already talked about. Okay, then again about uh, this uh, SAP function which SAP has given us. Then you you will see a lot of different different kind of details. How does your uh, your your functions works okay might be your uh, getters and setters as such again this is a basic script which they have actually explained it out here. again i think it's 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 a good read for sure now similarly if we see how to add a large input output data with groovy id again there is some kind of uh, a script which is being written it out i would highly recommend that just to go through it just try to play around with it and don't expect that might be on one day only you will be able to actually work out with everything it's it's like a step by step process same here uh, in case you want to convert some kind of xml to csv so again there is a kind of a code which is being given to you again guys i think these are very very helpful things i think the reason about is that once you go through it in case if you have any different scenarios where you need to write a script maybe you can just take a reference from here as such Similarly, for other scenarios also, I think again there is a script which you can actually use it out. So again, these are very, very helpful thing. Honestly, if you ask me, uh, I come here most of the time just to see in case if there is something which is similar, I have a requirement and then I can take a reference, start building it out and you will learn a lot as such. That's my uh, personal guarantee to you if you just go through very religiously through all the script which is being provided here as such. So yeah. Uh, this is to all about today's session, so which is about how does this uh, groovyid.com forward slash CPA works out. So we have seen that, what are the different different uh, options available here, and then we have seen how does your groovy examples even works out. So guys, yes, in case you have any kind of a question, please feel free to reach out to us. Again, in case if you want to subscribe for our course, please uh, do that part. Again, we have discussed more uh, in detail about the scripts.